Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do a whole video without you having to see this ugly mug, but it's, I didn't really explain it that well when I was doing this video, I didn't think it, I just did it. Um, I was showing my mum, she couldn't really understand how I was doing this, so I thought I'd come on and do it for you, or tell you about it. So what we're doing, so this is, this is my real image, okay, so this has got all the colour and all the, the original stuff. This is my tracing paper or the duplicated layer that we've put on top of it. Okay, so now oh, it's okay. It's covering it. Okay, so it would be covering it perfectly. And what we've done, we've saturated all the color out of this. So this black and white one is giving the idea that there is no color in the image. Now what we're doing, we're just erasing this black and white part, okay, which then reveals the color. I'm not adding any color. I'm not getting the paintbrush, I'm not putting that red into the image, that's already there. We're just hiding it with this black and white. I did, I do describe it in the video later on, as in having a bit of, like a drawing, putting tracing paper over the top, that's black and white, okay? And then we're just cutting part of that tracing paper out, revealing the colour. So please don't think that I'm adding any colour into this image, the colour's already there. I've hidden it with something on top of it, and then I'm just erasing that top part out. So then it just reveals it. If you do have any questions about it, please email me because it may seem so simple in my head because I've done it so many times. But if you don't understand it, please email me. I'll put my email here and just send me a link anytime and I can send you a video response or I can just send it to you in a text document. Oh. As my um, title said, I'm going to make a video on how to use um, certain colour selection to effectively in an image in Photoshop, CS3. Um, it may seem simple to some people, but others don't do it right. And it turns disgusting. So what I'm going to do, open my conveniently placed image, it's on my desktop. It's in RAW format, so I'll just keep it as it was. Okay, here's an image I took in Yu Yang's out between Melbourne and Geelong. Um, this is a friend's friend's brother writing. So, what we want to do is make it a little bigger. Okay, put it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. You want to go over to the layer section down here, double click on it to unlock it, and we'll name this, we'll name it color image. Because what we're going to do, click OK, we're going to right click on it, duplicate this layer, and rename that, uh, where are we? We rename this black and white image. Okay, so then you do Command Shift U for Mac or Control Shift, no, I don't know, something Shift U for Windows, but who has Windows? Okay, so as you can see, it's all black and white. Um, and I'm just going to pick. The red that's on his forks down here, um, red on his helmet, and a little bit of red from everywhere, make it effective. Okay, so we'll zoom in. I'm running that at 200%, which is pretty good, still means it's accurate. Now you need to get a small eraser, I usually use it on about 10 see nice and small and you just simply erase as you can see that's brought out that quite well Good thing to do if you can't remember what is colour or not. 
go over down here where you got your layers and just click on that eye, makes it visible or not. So I can find out that this is red and that's red, so I remember that. Then just click it back on. And erase away. So technically what we're doing here, it's like we've just got a bit of tracing paper, which is black and white, and we've just placed it over top of a colour image. And by doing this, all the colour's hidden until we start to cut out parts of the tracing paper. So that's what we're doing here with the eraser. We're not adding any more colour, we're just cutting little parts out to reveal the colour that's hidden behind it. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So we've gone from this to this. As you can see, I've done the forks, the red on the socks, the shocks, the cable tie, the red parts on the helmet, the shirt. I could go along and do the red on that tape, but I think that would remove the um, emphasis away from the boy. I actually just noticed some things that I thought might look a bit effective. So we go back, click the layer back on, it's our final product. Looks a lot better. What we're going to do is just bring out the red. So we go back to our normal layer, um, make the black and white one non-visible. Our adjustment layer, color balance, bring the red out a bit more. Let's bring it up to about 72. What we want to do is you've got to drag it from on top of the black and white layer to in between it, the colour on the black and white. As you can tell, we go back to black and white. That's what it's like now. We go down here and, and deselect the visibility. There's a bit of a difference. As you can see, it really brings out that red. And then all you have to do, option G for copyright. The size we want, go 36. Just chuck it down the bottom, and we're done. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that you can get something out of it.